When the world's attention is focused on China's stealth strategic bomber H-20 research and development process, an intriguing phenomenon triggered concern. Why China chose in the strategic bomber has not yet debuted, the first to launch the WZ-21 this heavy-armed helicopter. This seemingly light and heavy equipment development logic, in fact, implies the plot modernization of the deep strategic considerations. China's military industry in recent years' breakthroughs in the field of development is building up a three-dimensional combat system of the complete puzzle, and WZ-21 came out of nowhere as no accident. As the first completely independent research and development of heavy-armed helicopters, this maximum takeoff weight of 10 tons of air combat platform not only marks the Chinese helicopter industry to realize the historic leap from imitation to independent innovation, but also reflects the PLA's deep understanding of the shape of the modern war in the 500 kilometers away from the mainland within the regional in a conflict. Tactical level equipment with rapid response capability is often more valuable than strategic level weapons. In terms of technical parameters, the development of the WZ-21 has condensed the essence of two decades of technological accumulation by the Chinese military industry. Its turbojet 10 engine adopts directional solidification turbine blade technology, which enables the emergency power to reach 2,000 kilowatts while controlling the attenuation rate of high-altitude performance within 15 percent, which means that at an altitude of 5,000 meters above sea level on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, the aircraft is still able to maintain a cruising speed of 380 km per hour. This power advantage is of strategic significance in the Sino-Indian border confrontation. During the 2020 conflict in the Garhwal Valley, India deployed a 6 4 Apache helicopters due to insufficient plateau performance. The actual combat radius shrunk to 120 km, while the simulation of the WZ-21 shows that under the same conditions, its radius of operation can still be maintained at 300 kilometers, with the range of 10 kilometers of the Blue Arrow, 21 anti-tank missiles. The Indian front armor clusters can form a suppressive advantage. This performance gap is not only reflected in the power system, but also stems from China's breakthrough in the field of composite materials. The aircraft's main rotor using third-generation carbon fiber, epoxy resin composite materials, then the traditional metal rotor weight reduction of 40 percent at the same time, fatigue life to 10,000 hours of flight, which has exceeded the Russian Mi-28N's 8,000 hours standard. This figure has already exceeded the Russian Mi-28N's 8,000 hour standard. The tactical value of the WZ-21 has been more fully demonstrated in the operational scenarios in the Taiwan Strait. According to the 2023 RAND report, the PLA amphibious landing force may face up to 35% battle loss rate in the beaching phase, of which 70% of the casualties come from the enemy's hidden fortifications flanking firepower. The WZ-21 is equipped with the JY-300 active phased array radar, which can identify 0.1 square meters of floating mines under complex sea conditions, and its photoelectric turret has an infrared thermal imaging resolution of 1280 x 1024 pixels, which is sufficient to penetrate the mist at night to lock the firing holes of the beachhead's hidden fortifications. More critical is the aircraft's innovative swarm command system, which can simultaneously control 12 attack drones to implement multi-axis assault in the 2024 Joint Sword exercise. 2WZ-21, guided 24, Yulong-3, drones, in 12 minutes to destroy a simulation of the Animus-42 coastal defense fortifications, such as the combat effectiveness is 4.2 times that of a traditional helicopter gunship formation. Behind this tactical innovation is China's in-depth application of artificial intelligence. The WZ-21's fire control system is equipped with the Falcon 3D intelligent algorithm, which can analyze 128 battlefield variables in real time and increase the efficiency of target allocation to 17 times that of manual operation. Compared with the United States and Russia similar equipment, WZ-21 design concept highlights the unique lotcomer advantage. Although the US A64E Apache has been upgraded many times, its basic aerodynamic layout is still the continuation of the design of 40 years ago and there is a generation gap in stealth and electronic countermeasures. The diamond-shaped fuselage design of the WZ-21 will reduce the radar reflection cross-section to 0.8 square meters, only equivalent to Apache, one-fifth its engine exhaust port using cold air mixing technology, so that the peak infrared characteristics reduced to the Russian-made CARD-52 in a third level. This technological breakthrough so that the heat-seeking missile's locking distance from 8 kilometers to 2 kilometers sharply reduced. The self-defense system exposed at the 2023 Zhuhai Airshow has attracted more attention. The onboard 
Zuanbird 2, electronic warfare pod can synchronously interfere with radar signals in six frequency bands, and with a laser warning system, it can release 128 infrared decoy bombs within 0.3 seconds, which is a multi-spectrum protection capability that allows the aircraft to maintain a survival probability of more than 68% in the presence of the combat-tested Russian Armour S-1 air defense system in the Syrian battlefield. 68% or more. China's strategic choice to prioritize the development of the WZ-21 is essentially a realist consideration of prioritizing security challenges in the periphery. According to statistics of China's 22,000 kilometers of land borders, there are 14 disputed areas where there is a risk of low-intensity conflict, and more than 80% of these areas are mountainous or plateau environments. The H-20 strategic bomber is more suitable to deal with intercontinental strategic deterrence mission in the solution of border friction, island scramble and other real problems, with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, and precision strike firepower of the WZ-21 is obviously more tactical flexibility. This equipment development logic in the U.S. military, from sea to land, strategic transition period of choice is similar, 1991 Gulf War, a 64 fleet of aircraft, in the Left hook, operation to destroy the Iraqi army 278 tanks, while the B-2 bomber until 1997 to form combat capability. Historical experience has shown that prioritizing the development of equipment close to the needs of actual combat often produces more immediate strategic benefits. It is noteworthy that the development of the WZ-21 is driving the transformation and upgrading of China's military-industrial ecosystem. Its supply chain involves 512 supporting enterprises in 23 provinces and cities, leading to breakthroughs in 46 key technology areas such as high-temperature alloys and onboard chips. For example, the KLJ-7A airborne radar chip, specially developed for the WZ-21 uses a 14 nanometer process with an operating speed of 4.3 trillion times per second, and this technology has spawned civil products such as mining geological radar and medical imaging equipment. More far-reaching impact is reflected in the talent pool, WZ-21 project to train 217 senior engineers, 38 people transferred to the large aircraft program, its R&D process of 138 patented technologies, 25% has been applied to the C919 passenger aircraft flight control system to improve this kind of military with civilian technology spillover effect. It is the development of Chinese equipment beyond the purely military significance of the deep value. In the face of the evolution of future war patterns, the design of the WZ-21 leaves plenty of room for upgrading. Its modular weapon mounts are compatible with the Thunderbolt 17 ultra-long-range air-to-air missile being tested an air combat weapon with a range of 40 kilometers that will enable the helicopter gunships to have the ability to intercept enemy transport aircraft for the first time. The open architecture of the avionics system leaves the door open for subsequent access to the Baidu 4 navigation system and quantum communication modules. In the technology roadmap before 2028, the aircraft will realize two-way data fusion with the Strike 11 stealth drone, building up a new quality mode of operation with manned aircraft in the frontier reconnaissance and drones to carry out swarm strikes. This forward-looking design thinking, the WZ-21 is expected to break the law of the traditional armed helicopter service cycle of 30 years. Its technical vitality or can continue to 2040 after the era of intelligent warfare. China's military equipment development, priorities, selection, always centered on national security needs WZ-21 accelerated service, not only to the Taiwan Straits. The South China Sea challenges of the targeted response, but also the PLA system of combat capacity building necessary link. This cohesion of China's military wisdom of heavy armed helicopters, rather than a weapon and equipment, rather than observing the transformation of China's military strategy as a window. Here, we can clearly see the traditional land power thinking to the three-dimensional attack and defense concept of the metamorphosis, and can feel more China to safeguard the interests of the country's determination and wisdom. When the future H-20 unveiled the mystery, WZ-21 laid the technical foundation and tactical experience will become an important cornerstone to support the rise of China's air power.